I'm Allie Berger, and welcome to a little segment I like to call the drive through <laughs> The NBA Finals are here, and yet again, it's the Cavs versus the Warriors. Surprise. <laughs> the Cavs are facing a lot of pressures. There's the obvious one, the fact that Golden State is the heavy favorite, especially now that LeBron will reface the behemoth in the bay, plus an added KD. But there's more, on a much larger scale. It's now, or maybe not for a long time, for the franchise if they don't win. Majority owner Dan Gilbert and GM David Griffin have created a win-now organization that could be facing some big consequences long term. A few factors come into play if they lose. Number one, the team is old for an NBA franchise. Their stars are well into their primes, including guys like Kyle Korver, Richard Jefferson, and Channing Frye. The team's average age is 29.9, tied with the Clippers for the oldest team in the NBA. Number two, some of those guys might not even stay. Korver and Williams are both unrestricted free agents at the end of this summer. Granted, the Cavs are Korver's best option to win a ring, and they hold the bird rights to him, which in layman's terms means the team can go over the salary cap to keep him on the roster. But the big question will be whether or not majority owner Dan Gilbert will want to pour even more money into a team he's been losing money on. So number three, if those free agents decide to stay, the team may not even be able to afford them. The Cavs have the highest payroll in the history of professional basketball. Yes, and no cap room to improve the team with its current roster. They're going to have to trade away a star or look to improve from within the organization. That brings us to four. Their options for new additions are limited, especially when it comes to young talent. GM David Griffin traded away all the team's draft picks that they had piled up in the past for the likes of Korver, Fry, and former big guy Timothy Mozgov. They don't have a draft pick to trade until 2019 and a first rounder till 2021. But five, the Cavs higher ups remain optimistic as long as they're still with the team too. Griffin's contract is up June 30th, and a new deal has yet to be announced. His name has been linked to jobs in Orlando, Atlanta, and Milwaukee, but interviews with any of those organizations have either been declined or were just rumors. These next few weeks could make or potentially break the franchise's current recipe for success, but leave it in the hands of LeBron to put up a fight. And now the game is won. Who do you think will win the series? And are the Cavs in trouble for seasons to come if they lose? Comment below and be sure to subscribe to my channel here. I'm Allie Berger and thanks for driving through.